Good day Grade 12s, welcome to your next lesson in trigonometry. In this lesson we're going to be practicing our compound angle identity. So the first question says prove that sine 75 equals root 2 times our root 3 plus 1 over 4 without using a calculator. Right, so I look at that and I think how am I going to do that without using a calculator? And the root 2 and the root 3 and the fact that that's 75 is starting to make me think I should be looking at my special triangles. So let's draw my special triangles up here. So this is 60 and that is 30 and that's a 90 and that's 2, 1 and root 3. And the other special triangle we have is the one that's 45, 45, 1, 1, root 2. And if I look at this, I can see that I can make 75 by adding 30 and 45. So I could say sine 75 is the same as, let me try it below, is equal to sine of 30 plus 45. And then we could use our compound angle formula to say, okay, find our double angle formula to go right. This is going to be sine 30 cos 45 plus cos 30 sine 45. And now we can use our triangles, but we first have to write Sakatoa. Sakatoa. Sakatoa, so now sine is opposite of our hypotenuse, so sine 30 is opposite of our hypotenuse, so it's 1 over 2. Cos of 45 is adjacent of our hypotenuse, if we look at this 45, it's adjacent 1 over root 2, so that's 1 over root 2, plus cos of 30 is adjacent of our hypotenuse, so that's root 3 over 2. Sine 45 is opposite of our hypotenuse, so that's 1 over root 2. So if we do a common denominator of 2 root 2, do you see that that would be 1 plus root 3? So therefore we've got this bracket. Awesome. But now this does not look like the 4 and we do not have the root 2. But let's get rid of this root 2 at the bottom. So if we times the top by root 2 and the bottom by root 2, because what you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom and vice versa, what do we end up with? We end up with root 2 times by 1 plus root 3 all over 2 times root 2 times root 2. But root 2 times root 2 is just 2. So we end up with root 2 times by 1 plus root 3 all over 2 times 2 which is 4 and there you go so you can see that we're bringing together quite a lot of stuff here we're bringing in together our special triangles and the fact that we're using our compound angle formula so please make sure that you mustn't just think oh I can't do this or whatever think about everything that you have and we're using our soccer tour obviously so let's do another example this is quite an easy one. It says express tan alpha plus beta in terms of sines and cosines. And the only reason I brought this question is because a lot of times they talk about tan and then a lot of people forget that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So therefore we can say tan of alpha plus beta is equal to sine of alpha plus beta over cos of alpha plus beta and then we can expand it and we can say sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta all over cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta and there you go that's how you would expand or express tan of alpha plus beta in terms of sines and cosines. So please don't freak out if you see a tan, if we don't have a compound angle formula for it, just you work it out with the sines and the causes. And that great tools are some examples of your compound angles. Please go practice more and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.